Today I'm going to read you Creepy Pair of Underwear by Peter Reynolds. And the pictures are by Peter Brown. I think you'll find this a very funny book. Creepy Pair of Underwear. Jasper Rabbit needed new underwear. On Thursday, Mom took him to the underwear store and grabbed the last three packages of plain white. But as they headed for the checkout, Jasper spotted them. Creepy underwear, so creepy, so comfy. They were glorious. Mom, Mom, can we get these, Jasper pleaded. I think they're a little too creepy, said Mom. They're not creepy, they're cool, said Jasper. I'm not a little bunny anymore. I'm a big rabbit now. Mom agreed to buy one pair. That night, Jasper wore his cool new underwear to bed. Do you want me to leave the hallway lie down, asked Dad. Dad, I'm not a little bunny anymore, said Jasper. I'm a big rabbit now. His dad shut the door, and that's when Jasper noticed wonder what he noticed. The underwear glowed, a ghoulish, greenish glow. It glowed in the dark. He closed his eyes. He pulled up the covers. He buried his face in his pillow, but it didn't help. He could still see that ghoulish, greenish glow. Jasper leaped out of bed and put on his white undies. And he stuffed the creepy underwear into the bottom of his laundry hamper. He finally fell asleep. But when he got up the next day, he was wearing the underwear. He was wearing it. Jasper threw them into the garbage can. He was still a big rabbit. He wasn't scared of anything, but he was done with scary underwear. After school, Jasper was doing his homework when he heard it. A scratchy, scraping sound coming from his drawer. What could it be? He opened the drawer and they were back. Can you see the underwear? Staring at him with that ghoulish, greenish glow. He scrambled, he scratched, snatched the creepy underwear out of the drawer. He grabbed a big envelope and some stamps. Bye-bye, scary underwear, he said, dropping the package in the mailbox to China. When he opened the front door the next morning, there they were. Oh, my goodness. And were those chopsticks? His creepy pair of underwear had somehow returned from China and brought back souvenirs. So now Jasper's pretty scared. Jasper grabbed his mom's good sewing scissors. He, she didn't like him using them, but this was an underwear emergency. This time, creepy underwear was gone for good. He cut it all up into a million pieces. At bedtime, he slowly opened his underwear drawer. Nothing, just plain white undies. He searched under his bed. He took out, shook out his lampshades. Whew, there was no sign of the creepy underwear. He went into the bathroom to comb his ears. <gasps> Look what's in the bathroom. They were back. What's the matter with you, his mom said. You're so jittery lately. Nothing, he yelped. A grown rabbit couldn't be afraid of his underpants. He seized the underwear. He snagged a shovel from the garage. He didn't stop pedaling till he reached Creek Hanger Hill. Climbed all the way up to the top of that hill. Then Jasper began to dig. He dug until the hole was dark and deep and 100% underwear proof. He dropped the underwear in. They green gleamed from the bottom, that ghoulish greenish glow. But not for long. When he got home, Jasper crept up to his dresser. They couldn't be in there. There was no way, right? He reached for the handle. 
He peeked in, nothing, just plain white underwear. Jasper smiled and turned out the light. But look, it's dark in Jasper's room. There's no light. There was just one problem. It was really dark in there, even for a big rabbit. So, Jasper turned on the light. He looked at his non-glow pair of white undies, and he knew what he had to do. He gets his shovel. He pedals back up to Cliffhanger Hill and, the, and digs up the underwear. The creepy underwear were a little muddy, but they filled the room with a gentle, ghoulish glow. The next day, Jasper gathered all of his allowance money and went to the underwear store all by himself, just like a big rabbit. That night, Jasper wasn't scared at all. As he lay down to sleep, he smiled. And so did his underwear because they had finally found somebody who wasn't scared of creepy underwear. What do you think you would do if you had glow-in-the-dark underwear that just showed up everywhere? I hope you enjoyed this book. The end.